Welcome to Highline Excel 2016, video number 14. Hey, if you'd like to download this workbook, Business 218, video 12 to 14, start file and follow along. Click on the link below the video. All right, we have a great video here. We actually want to compare VLOOKUP and relationships in the data model. Last couple of videos, we've been talking all about lookup. Back in video number three, we had an introduction to the data model in Power Pivot. Now, here's a situation we have date, sales rep, and sales. And over here, we have a lookup table with sales rep and region. And we need to, from both tables, create a regional sales report. Now, for VLOOKUP, we can simply add a helper column and look up region. For relationships in the data model, we'd add both of these tables to the data model and then build a relationship between the unique list in the first column of the lookup table for sales rep and the sales rep column over here that has many duplicates. Now, when would you use VLOOKUP and when would you use relationships in the data model? Well, if your data is not big data, and you're doing a simple report where you have one or two lookup columns, then by all means, it's faster to simply add this helper column with VLOOKUP. If you actually have big data, or you're building a complex data model with relationships between many tables, then it's better to use the data model in Power Pivot. Also, couple weeks ahead when we learn how to do DAX formulas, we'll see there's some other advantages for using the data model. But in general, if you have a table, you know, and it could have thousands or even tens of thousands of rows, if it's a simple extra column or two using VLOOKUP, then no problem. Now, I actually want to do both examples here. And that sheet, I want to copy it over. So instead of right clicking and pointing to move and copy, I want to show you a cool copy sheet trick. Now watch this. I'm going to click on the sheet and drag up. You can see the piece of paper under my cursor. And the little black arrow means I'm going to drop it right here. Actually, it means I'm going to move it. But watch this. I'm going to hold the Control key. And look what happened to my piece of paper. There's a plus there. That means I'm not moving it. I'm copying it. Now the trick is you have to let go of your mouse, not the Control key to get it to actually copy over. Now I'm going to double click and call this DM for data model. Now I want to come over to 14, and let's create the helper column first. So I'm going to call this region enter equals VL tab. I'm going to look up the sales rep. Notice that's table formula nomenclature with an at symbol, which means that's a relative cell reference, comma. And the table, since I'm highlighting all the records in the table, it gives me exactly the table name, comma. Region is the second column in the lookup table, so I have to put a 2 here to tell VLOOKUP to please look up region, comma. And I'm going to put 0 for exact match, because I'm not sure if the sales rep column will always be sorted. Control Enter and double click and send it down. Now, most of the time, if you're using the Excel table feature, when you enter that formula, it automatically gets sent down. Go to the last cell, F2, and there we go. Now I can click in a single cell, Insert, Pivot Table, or the keyboard, Alt and V. And I'm going to put it somewhere like over in K3. Click OK. Now I can simply drag region. This is my helper column that contains our VLOOKUP formula. I'm going to drag it down to rows, and instantly I get a unique list. Now I drag sales, and boom, there we go. Immediately up to design, report layout, show in tabular. Right click, number formatting, and currency, something like that. Zero decimals is fine. Click OK. And so there it is. We created a pivot table report for region using VLOOKUP and a helper column. Now we want to go over to the sheet DM and see how to do this using relationships in the data model. Now when I copied the sheet over, that table had a name, and it automatically changed it. I do not want to rely on that, so I'm going to go up to Design. And up here, it said F Sales 9. I'm going to get rid of the 9 and call it F Sales Data Model. Enter. Now I click in a single cell over here. Alt JTA is the name to shoot me up here, and I'm going to Remove the 10 and put D, sales rep, DM for data model, and Enter. Now, 
In order to put these into the Power Pivot data model, they have to be Excel tables. So now we have these as table. I'm going to click in a single cell and click Add to Data Model. And there it is. There's our table number one, Alt-Tab. I click in the second table, Add to Data Model. Now I have my two tables. I can go up to the View group, Diagram View. And when I click Diagram View, now I have my two field lists for each one of the tables. Hey, here's the first column in our lookup table. I'm going to drag Sales Rep over to Sales Rep in the Sales table. Instantly, I see a one to many. That one means there's a unique list in the first column of the lookup table. And over here, that asterisk means many. That means I can have many repeats over here. There's a one to many relationship. Now I'm going to come over and click the pivot table. New worksheet is fine. Click OK. I'm immediately going to double click this and call it PT space DM, pivot table from the data model. Now, notice in the field list, the tables with the black line at the top mean they are in the data model. There's an all and an active. I'm going to move these to the active. Right click, show an active. Right click, show an active. Now I go over to active, and look at that, two tables. I am totally allowed to drag region from sales rep table down to rows. No VLOOKUP in that column. That's from a relationship, right? And then sales over to values. And instantly, there we go. Click in the cell, design, report layout, show in tabular. Right click, number formatting to format the actual field. And something like currency zero. By the way, when we study DAX formulas in the data model two weeks ahead, we'll see that we never have to use number formatting. Because when we create our DAX formula in the data model, we'll actually attach number formatting to the formula. Hey, there we go. There's the same report, but we use relationship between two tables. Alt-Tab, there's our two tables in the data model. And we did VLOOKUP in a helper column. All right, one important thing to take away from this, we want to be able to think of VLOOKUP as a relationship in the data model. But we also want to think when we're doing relationships in the data model, think of those relationships as VLOOKUP. For many of us coming from Excel to relational type database and stuff in the data model, we, we already think of things as VLOOKUP. So either way you do it, they're both accomplishing the same goal. All right, next video, we'll start talking about Excel charts. All right, see you next video.